is lifeguard extraordinaire for 33 years. This man has been watching our waves. Lieutenant Andy Learham, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. All right, 33 years. You've seen just about everything by this point, right? Seen a lot. But put it in perspective, with the amount of stingray uh, accidents or incidents from last weekend, is that high? Is it to be expected? Where are we at? It seems like every year there's a spike in stingrays, but actually it happens almost every year where there's large numbers of people getting stung by stingrays. It has to do more with the conditions. When the surf is small, when the weather's nice and a lot of people go to the beach, that provides an opportunity for people to step in their environment more often, and that's what results in stings. Uh, with the way we think of it, it's our environment, right? So that's a good yeah. head check right there. We are going into their environment. As Sorry. we're looking at the screen right now, uh, I know I know what this is called, the stingray shuffle. Explain to me what we're supposed to do as we're walking in the water. Well, just like you're supposed to stomp your feet in the woods to scare away the snakes, you're supposed to shuffle your feet in the sand to scare away the stingrays. That disturbs their habitat. They don't like it. They want to get away from you. All right, what happens if you are stung by a stingray? What should you do? Well, if you do get stung, it's going to hurt. It's, uh, a lot of people describe the pain as a 10 out of 10. The, uh, the barb is in the tail of the stingray. It, it uh, triggers a defense mechanism of the fish, and it sometimes hits your foot or leg or ankle, and uh, it creates a hole, just like a nail would. It, it, it punctures your skin, and then the venom is released into your skin. That serotonin venom is very painful. Have you ever been stung? Fortunately not. Really? 33 years as a lifeguard and you never have been stung? A lot of close calls. Oh, is that right? Yeah. But they're not exactly, as you just mentioned, they're not coming after us. They're not trying mm. to do anything other than defend where they are. They're mostly preoccupied looking for food. Okay. And then we stomp on them and they're trying to defend themselves. Hey, I do the same thing too. When I'm on my break in the lunch in the lunch room, you know, you start pushing everybody out. All right. All right uh, what else is coming up for the 4th of July? What's uh, some of the, the things you would recommend to folks as they are coming to the beach? A lot of people will come and it's just a good time to remind people to be patient when you come to the beach. Mm -hmm. Parking lots are going to be tough. They're, they fill up early. Um, also, uh, we have a lot of lost children occur on the 4th of July. It's easy to get separated with all the people. So come up with a plan. Pick a lifeguard tower uh, to reunite if you should get separated from your family members. Also, it's important to remember the rules, right? You can't bring alcohol. Uh, there is no smoking. That makes the environment nicer for everybody. Uh, we ask that you pack out what you pack in as far as trash. Uh, the city is providing some larger uh, trash bins at the beach, but every 4th of July weekend afterwards, there's a lot of trash on the beach, and wouldn't it be nice if we could take our, care of our environment a little bit better? What can we do to help out our lifeguards? I mean, what's, what, I mean, I know, you know, obey the rules and, you know, take your garbage, but what can we really do to show support for the men and women who are literally keeping us safe in the water? Well, thank you. Uh, it's a shared responsibility, public safety is. You know, whether you uh, ask a police officer, a lifeguard, a firefighter, there's this uh, effort on everybody's part to do the right thing, take care of each other, look after one another, report things early so that we can be of assistance. Um, and then the trash. If you are able to help with the environment, that's even better. All right, so folks are getting in the water. You're assuming they are going to know how to swim before yeah. getting into the water, but one thing that a lot of folks don't know how to deal with is rip currents. And there's a real misconception that people think when you get in a rip, it pulls you under. That's not what actually is going on, correct? That sensation of being pulled under is called gravity. <laughs> I deal with that every day. Yeah. <laughs> So rip currents continue to be the number one hazard, even though stingrays are being talked about. The rip currents are really what uh, is more hazardous. The consequences are greater if you get stuck in rip current and you can't swim. You bring up a good point. Uh, it's important to know how to swim before you go into the water, uh, even if you're in a backyard swimming pool. In fact, that's a good segue. Before I forget, parents are the lifeguards at home. Excellent. And make sure an uh, adult is in charge of supervision of young kids especially. Back to rip currents. Okay, uh, if thank you, get, you. If you get stuck in a rip current, uh, we ask people not to panic, but to swim parallel to shore until you're out of that rip current, and then you can catch a wave back into shore in shallower water. It's likely the lifeguard's going to be on his way or her way to help you out if you're in a rip current. Okay, so when you get stuck in a rip current, you're having this feeling that you're literally going nowhere. You're just getting pulled out a little bit. So you're saying go parallel and then allow, and then wave your hands to the lifeguard? Right, it's uh, human nature to go back to the beach if you're being sucked out. And when you swim back to the beach in a rip current, you're on a treadmill. 
you're not going to necessarily go anywhere except backwards. That's why it's important to swim parallel, either north or south. Get out of that rip current, and then once you're out of the neck of the rip current, you can get back to shore. As a parent, is it smarter for me to go try and rescue my kid out of the rip or go get a lifeguard? We encourage parents to interact with their kids in the ocean. I took my kids out, and it's really a nice family experience. And so, yes, parents should be with their kids, especially young kids. Oh, they're 16 and 18. They can swim. <laughs> But, uh, no. but we don't want people going and making rescues when there's lifeguards who are trained to do that. All right, what about scooters? Because we've been focused a lot on scooters, and uh, you, you guys are kind of the you know, regulators of the beach, but as far as the scooters go, where is your authority? Well, we, uh, we do regulations, uh, enforcement of regulations on the beach. Scooters is one of them. Uh, primarily, po police do the primary enforcement of scooters. However, uh, since just a few days ago when the new laws kicked in, the scooters now only operate at eight miles an hour on the, on the boardwalk, which is a big improvement for safety. So already we've seen a reduction of scooter accidents on the boardwalk. Oh, that is a positive. But they also, folks need to understand that the police are regulating what's going on with the scooters. So uh, when the 4th of July rolls around, do you guys get together? Is it like the Super Bowl for lifeguards? It's pretty much all hands on deck. There's not very many lifeguards who have the day off. Um, I haven't had one in 33 years. Uh, we all pretty much uh, position ourselves where we can be most effective. There's not a whole lot of traveling opportunity to respond to places with traffic backed up. So we strategically put our lifeguards in place to affect those rescues. We even have two lifeguards assigned to the helicopter for, with a fire rescue helicopter in case there's a deployment necessary where we can't get to by vehicle. Lieutenant Larum, thank you so much for your 33 years of service, your advice, and again, one of the catchphrases you gave us today, parents are the lifeguards at home. Very so true. watch your kids while they are in the pool. Yep. Have a happy and safe thank 4th you. of July. You too. See you at the beach.